They file in at 20 to 9 in the morning with their hair nicely combed and wearing the clothes their mom picked out for them. With their wide eyes and bright demeanors, they innocently walk into their kindergarten classroom to embark on their first year of public education. What exactly happens inside the classroom? What are these five-year-olds learning? Is kindergarten merely a time for the kids to take a nap and have a good snack? Here in Mrs. Allen's kindergarten classroom, the kids are learning much more than how to take a nap on a hardwood floor or how to make art with their hands. Kindergarten isn't like it used to be, and these children are amazing in what their ability is when they receive the appropriate instruction. They are ready for it, and they can do it. What should a child know before they enter kindergarten? Well, I think the very basics, that they should know how to write their name. They should at least recognize the letters in their name and the sounds those letters make. Uh, it's really important for them to understand at least some of the basics of the letters of the alphabet, like representing this is A, I can write an A, it says A. Ah. If they can do about half the alphabet 13, it really gives them a jump start on what they're going to be learning in kindergarten. Before a child even enters the kindergarten doors, they go through a screening where some of these basic skills are tested. Basically, we look at if they can write their name, um, number skills to 10. We at the screen just look at uppercase letter names, but in reality, it's the lowercase letter sounds that they need to read and spell, which they will learn in kindergarten. But if they have some of those coming in, that helps. And we also look at if they're able to identify the first sound in a word. Let's enter the classroom to find out exactly what these kindergartners are learning and find out what a day in the life of a kindergartner is actually like. Children arrive, they take their chair down, they put their homework folder in their chair pocket or they put it in the homework basket. The bell rings, we go to the right time where we do calendaring. So today's the 27th, Saturday will be the 2009. After a quick pledge of allegiance and a song to get the wiggles out, the kids separate into center groups. Center groups are 30 minutes. There are two aides, myself and a parent, who run those. So the children are getting small group instruction. She's giving them an option. If this was your mom at a picnic, circle the option you would choose. Each center focuses on a specific skill. Some learn about new words to add to their vocabulary, and some learn to build basic patterns. Some A A B B. How do you make that? Um, I do like twos. Like you do twos of twos. White, brown, green, white, brown, green. What kind of pattern is that? A B C. What other patterns have you guys learned about? What other patterns do you know how to make? Do you know how to make A B? What other one? The kids practiced writing in their journals at one center, and at another center, they improved their coloring and cutting skills as they learned letter sounds. So, what are you making? A puppet? Uh huh. Well, actually, it's not a puppet. No, it's our best friend. What letter does vampire start with? Mm, what letter makes the V sound? And other groups practice learning their numbers to 100. Can you find the two? Yep. One, now three. How far can you count? Starts with a. 15, 
As hard as they've worked on learning their numbers, they worked even harder on reading. The kids are split off into 30-minute reading groups where they learn how to read some of their most basic but fundamental words and reading skills. The kids are in what we call a differentiated group instruction, where all kids are placed in a group depending on their instructional need in reading. They do have to be able to read in kindergarten, so some of the they have to understand concepts of print, like the front, the back, the top, the bottom, we move from left to right. They have to understand all that as far as reading, but they have to be able to sound out words. Basic consonant vowel consonant words, they have to be able to read sight words. They have to know about 40 sight words. Okay, let's read all of our sight words. Uh, one, seven, two, by the time they leave kindergarten, they are reading about 300 words. It used to be that by the time a child left kindergarten, they could read maybe a handful of words. But now no time is wasted in starting a kid off on a good literacy um, career. If we, can, if we can identify struggling readers early and get them intensive intervention, uh, we can probably um, keep them from struggling all their, all their lives with reading. With the new No Child Left Behind Act in place, there has also been a lot of new tests and interventions put into action to help every kindergartner reach the same level by the end of the year. Okay, the first intervention is what I mentioned before, DIBBLES. It stands for Dynamic Indicators and Basic Early Literacy Skills. We do assessments that come with our regular and our intervention programs to make sure they're succeeding. We have seen a huge boost in kids' ability to read, and they're long, they're long lasting. We see the effects into later grades to have those pre-reading skills really firmly in place. Even though all that reading is sure a lot of work, the day isn't over yet, but it sure is time for a break.